Welcome to the demonstration on Galigio for Web Intelligence. Today we will look at several functionalities and how these will help users to view their data geographically, better understand, predict, and improve the efficiency and measurement of their business activities, enhance data visualization, reporting, and predictive analysis. This web report presents the Toxic Releases Inventory based on data from the United States Environmental Protection Agency. By default, the report analyzes the toxic releases for all industries, but let's focus on four industries, 311 food beverage tobacco, 2121 coal mining, 2122 metal mining, and 2211 electric utilities. You can now see that the crosstab, bar charts, and geomap have been refreshed to show only the four industries selected. By default, the map is zoomed in to state level, showing the total air release as a chloroplast chart and release by origins in pie chart form. In the legend panel, you can easily select or deselect metrics. Here I will select total air releases by tons, and I will deselect water discharges. You can zoom in and out of the map using the navigation toolbar found on the right-hand side of the map, or alternatively, you can scroll in using your mouse wheel. Click and drag will allow you to pan across. Now let's zoom into the state of Nevada. We can select a county, such as Humboldt in Nevada, and the pop-up window will show us more details. We can now jump into a linked report and get even more details for that specific county. By selecting companies in the legend panel, we can now see all the companies in the area. The red colored icons indicate companies who have a high level of total releases. By clicking on a company, you will find company level details in the linked report. The interactive map is the working interface for the management of thematic analysis and contains all the functionalities and widgets necessary for carrying out business analysis. All geographic objects can be displayed on the map, such as total releases by county or by company. On top of the map, we can access the widget menu. Here is a brief look at the widgets. The thematic manager is available only to advanced users. It allows you to create, modify, and delete thematics. The legend bar allows for visualization of specified metrics as seen earlier. The selection tool makes it simple to select identifiable metrics within a given area. Export Manager lets you bring up Geo reports. Area analysis for precise analysis of identifiable metrics within zones. Data imports allows you to import your data seamlessly. Visualization Plus allows you to view your data in yet another dimension. Heat maps provide another way to view geographical data. You can choose from multiple identifiable metrics. Here we will choose total releases. In this case, the heat maps glow red, where there are the highest concentration of total releases. Clusters provide geospatial aggregation of points. This is an extremely useful tool to find locations that have a large amount of identifiable objects, such as companies within a specified proximity. Time Slider creates a video showing all the thematics we have covered as they evolve over time. By selecting the base map feature, we can choose from several map backgrounds, such as streets, aerial, open street map, and light gray.
Now let's check the companies located around Las Vegas. The area analytics feature allows you to select data within a specified zone, which is relative in distance or drive time, from a predetermined location. There are four different measurement options in area analysis, the first of which is distance, as the crow flies. The second is a buffer zone, which allows you to create zones around a selection of geographic objects, such as companies. The third is drive time, whilst the fourth is drive distance. Here we have created a buffer zone around two companies in Las Vegas. By selecting Extract, you create a Geo report, which allows you to bring up the selected companies in a linked report. This comes to the end of the demonstration. To conclude, today we looked at the Web Intelligence graphical user interface, the filter tool, the legend tool, navigating between state and county level, linked reports, face maps, location search, and area analysis.